I'm Tristan and my partners and I are going to show you what it takes to get out of some of the most dangerous places on earth. We've got to make it through several challenges in the sort of places where you wouldn't last a day without the right survivor skills. Now we're in western New York, a wilderness dominated by thousands of miles of dense forest. It's the domain of ferocious wild bears. The going couldn't be tougher. We're going to use every ounce of our knowledge to show you how to survive in this vast and rugged landscape. Because a vast majority of New York has been untouched by humans, we're going to have to be airdropped in there. There's the chopper now, we'll see you when we hit the ground. Alright, the parachute landing was successful. We're going to collect our parachutes and put them in our backpack for later use. You never know when these things might come in handy. Alright, have you, have, you, have you seen Mike? Where, Mike should have been landed then, by now. Uh, I don't know, but I definitely saw his parachute open. Mike! Hey, Mike! Mike! Oh. Up here! Up here! Oh my god! He's... <laughs> He's up in that tree. Oh Mike, how'd you get up there? Ellie! I need help back here. I'm hanging in a tree. All right, Mike, calm down. No, wait, Mike, Corey. calm down. Where is Corey? Is that yeah, you? Yeah, it's me, Mike. Just look Corey, down here. Corey, it's you. It's me, Mike. Listen. Listen to wait, me. Wait, Corey. Ma don't, Mike, don't move. We'll be, don't move. We'll be right there. I think I'm going to die. All right, t Mike, listen to me. Calm down. Just calm down. How am I supposed to calm down when I'm hanging in a tree? Just calm down. We're going to get you down. We're I gonna... can't calm down. We're going to use math and we're going to get you down. All right? Chances are I can die up here, and I probably will. Okay. Right now, Mike, what you're going to have to do here, you can't fall straight down because there's a very sharp stick right below you. Oh, God. Oh, uh, Mike, oh. listen here, man, I, Mike. I'm panicking. Listen here, mate. Now, you can't fall straight down because there's a very sharp stick right below you. And you oh, will 100% die. I see it down there. Yes, it is very dangerous. Now, see, you're going to need a vector quantity, and you're going to need to jump at a 45 degree angle. You said from... 45 degree angle? Yes, 45 degree angle. Oh. And you're going to have to land away from that stick. It's a vector quantity, and now you're going to have so to I do have it. To land far away from the sharp stick. Yes, yes, that's the idea, that yes. Makes sense. Okay. This will be good. I did gymnastics when I was a kid. Listen to me. Release at the height of your swing to get away from the stick, all right? At a 45 degree angle. Not straight down at a 45 degree angle, you'll be okay. If I get to the height of my swing and there's a bear nearby, should I still There's come no down? bears. There's no look up, there's no bears. Now listen here, mate. You're gonna be fine. Now just jump at that 45 degree angle. What if there's right, a let's bear? Count, let's, no. let's count. Let's count to three, all right? So on three, do I jump? No, on like go. One, two, three, go. Or on one, go. Two, three. go after three. You go yes. After, yes. <laughs> so on three, I jump. No. No. <laughs> one, two, three, pause, jump. One, two, three, go, jump. One, two, three, go, pause, jump. <laughs> yes. All right. We'll okay. go with that. Ready? One. Wait. Wait. Okay. Okay. I think I'm ready. One. Two. Three, go. Pause, go. Right, now that sort of thing tends to happen when you try to do a parachute landing in a forest like this. Right now, when you're up here in upstate New York, the basic rule of thumb is that you can eat just about anything that you see. Now you see these Queen Victorian green leaves here. These are great to eat, very nutritious, and they're quite delicious if you ask me. All right, kind of, also we kind of got trees around here. We got maple trees all over the place in western New York. We got walnut trees. Stand up straight trees with no branches, green leaf trees, um, pine trees. There are several different kinds of trees around here in New York. It's just a very, very dangerous kind of habitat we got going around here. It's going to be dangerous, that's all I can say. <laughs> all right, let's make camp here. Do it. All right. Now, for this adventure, we have a few items in case things go bad. So what we got 
is we got a water bottle. Just in case we can't find any water, and in case we don't have any food. We got a ho ho. In case we don't have any food. So we got water and a ho ho and a calculator in case anything goes wrong. We need to use math to get out of here. Alright? First thing that came to my mind. Yeah. You getting know? a calculator is first thing. More important than getting a ho-ho or water is finding a calculator. Preferably scientific. Alright. Really everything you need is really on that. Yeah. I mean... It's I got a great shelter building function. It works for like magic. Alright. Now, I think we should scout out the area. Tristan, you go over there. To take a go of about a mile and a half. We'll go for about 20 minutes. Tell me what's over there. I'm gonna go back over there. You hold the ground. All right, you you stay here. All right, keep okay. camp. Yep. Let's go, go on, Mike. I got it. I got the ho ho right there. Did you eat the ho -ho? next to the binder and water bottle? You ate the ho ho. No, the, it's in there. No, it's not in there. That was mine. Half of that was mine. I panicked. That was My stomach has a strong voice, okay? I panicked. Right, Mike, there's nothing on with that. I panicked. He ate our survival food. You I, what? I panicked. I strong. We've been here oh. for 10 minutes, Mike. I, I panicked. Nice. I pan We've been here I'm going home. Yeah, I'm you going can't just home. Because of your action. Right, well, after eating our survival food, Mike has decided to go home. So now it's just Corey and I in the wilderness of upstate New York here. Right, now we have to split up. I'm going to go search for some food, and he's going to stay behind and build a shelter. Right, now our primary concern here is finding some food and water. Now, uh, this small animal would be perfect for some food, and we could find a creek around here. I think I can hear one. Right, now, we just got lucky here, mate. What we have here appears to be deer poop. Now, despite popular belief, it's very high in nutrition and could actually save your life. Mmm. Yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely some poop right there, yeah. Mmm. Mate, that's a bit tangy. Mmm. But, could save your life. Alright, now for our shelter, our ideal lean-to system is going to be a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. All right. So what I need to build this lean-to is a bunch of branches, dead branches, and uh, we'll have ourselves a shelter for the night. So let's go. 